Palace of Culture and Science Polish, Polak Kultury i Nauki, abbreviated PKIN, is a controversial high-rise building in Warsaw, Poland. Constructed in 1955, it is the center for various companies, public institutions and cultural activities such as concerts, cinemas, theaters, libraries, sports clubs, universities, scientific institutions and authorities of the Polish Academy of Sciences. Motivated by Polish historicism and American Art Deco high-rise buildings, the PKIN was designed by Soviet architect Lev Rudnev in Seven Sisters style and is informally referred to as the Eighth Sister. The Palace of Culture and Science is the tallest building in Poland, the eighth tallest building in the European Union and one of the tallest on the European continent. It is 237 meters, 778 feet tall. The palace is controversial in Poland and viewed as a harsh reminder of Soviet occupation, which was constructed during mass violations of human rights during Warsaw's occupation by Stalin-led regime. Locals often say that the palace's observation deck has the city's best view because it's the only place in Warsaw with no view of the building. A coalition of veteran and national groups in Poland has called for its demolition as a front to the validity of the Polish state, adding that it is a reminder that Poles are slaves to the Soviets. In 2009, Polish Foreign Minister Radosław Sikorski called for the demolition of the palace noting the expense involved in its maintenance. Speaking days after a celebration of the destruction of the Berlin Wall, said demolition would similarly be a moment of catharsis for the country. Other prominent government leaders have continued to call for its demolition including Deputy Prime Minister Mateusz Morawiecki who said he supports the idea of removing this vestige of communist domination from the center of Warsaw and that it's something he's been dreaming about for 40 years. History. Name The building was originally known as the Joseph Stalin Palace of Culture and Science Polak Kultury i Nauki Amienia Josefa Stalina, but in the wake of de-Stalinization the dedication to Stalin was revoked. Stalin's name was removed from the colonnade, interior lobby and one of the building's sculptures. Varsovians still commonly use nicknames to refer to the palace, notably Pekin. Beijing, because of its abbreviated name PKIN, and Pajak, clown, a word that sounds close to Palak. Other less common names include Stalin's syringe, the elephant in lacy underwear, Russian wedding cake, or even Chuj Stalina, Stalin's dick. However, only Pekin was the popular alternative name. Also, despite some later confusion, the name Patik a Polish word for stick didn't stand for PKIN but for the 10-metre-high signpost, in the corner of the Parade Square, near the intersection of Marsorkowska Street and Jerusalem Avenue. The four walls of the signpost display the names of several large or important cities around the world, together with the distances from the signpost itself. Construction Construction started in 1952 and lasted until 1955. A gift from the Soviet Union to the people of Poland, the tower was constructed, using Soviet plans, by 3,500 to 5,000 Russian workers and 4,000 Polish workers. Sixteen workers died in accidents during the construction. The Russian builders were housed at a new suburban complex built at Poland's expense, with its own cinema, food court, community center and swimming pool, called Osiedl Shiazny, neighborhood of friendship. The architecture of the building is closely related to several similar skyscrapers built in the Soviet Union of the same era, most notably the main building of Moscow State University. However, the main architect Lev Rudnev incorporated some Polish architectural details into the project after traveling around Poland and seeing the architecture. 
The monumental walls are headed with pieces of masonry copied from Renaissance houses and palaces of Kraków and Zamosk. Shortly after opening, the building hosted the Fifth World Festival of Youth and Students. Many visiting dignitaries toured the palace, and it also hosted performances by notable international artists, such as a 1967 concert by the Rolling Stones, the first by a major Western rock group behind the Iron Curtain. In 1985, it hosted the historic Leonard Cohen concert, surrounded by many political expectations, which were avoided by Cohen in his prolonged introductions during the three-hour show. Four 6.3 meters (21 feet) clock faces were added to the top of the building ahead of the Millennium celebrations in 2000. Topic: <laughs> Present day. The building currently serves as an exhibition center and office complex. The palace contains a multiplex cinema with eight screens, four theaters, studio, Dramatichny, Lalka and six, Pietro, two museums, Museum of Evolution and Museum of Technology, offices, bookshops, a large swimming pool, an auditorium hall for 3,000 people called Congress Hall, and an accredited university, Collegium Civitas, on the 11th and 12th floors of the building. The terrace on the 30th floor, at 114 meters (374 feet), is a well-known tourist attraction with a panoramic view of the city. The Congress Hall held the finals of Miss World 2006. In 2010, the illumination of the building was modernized and high-power LED lights were installed, allowing the palace to take various colors at night. The first use of the new lighting was during Christmas in 2010, when the palace was illuminated in green and white to resemble a Christmas tree. In December 2013, during the Euromaidan protests, it was illuminated in yellow and blue, the colors of the Ukrainian national flag as a sign of solidarity with the protesters. See also Eighth Sister Latvian Academy of Sciences in Riga Museum of Communism, Warsaw Neoclassical Architecture Parade Square Socialist realism in Poland